Welcome to the comic book shop of doom. I'm your host and this is the nightly news for Saturday, May 16th, 2020. Mike Barron has gone comics gate. He is going to do a Nexus comic book with your boy, Zach, AKA Richard Meyer and some other novel or something. So he's doing some work. So at least your boy, Zach, you know, the comic book business is shut down, but guess what? He's keeping people working. Alamo Draft House in Arizona. Okay, this is a franchise. It's not the entire chain of movie theaters. They filed for Chapter 11. So the Alamo Draft House in Arizona, that franchise is going bust. J.C. Penney filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. And this is going to be uh, one of many different retailers that are going to go under with everything going on. Jonah Hill, a study has found out that he is the most foul mouth actor of all time in the movies. So he says the most amount of swears per his movies. June 18th, bids are due for movie passes bankruptcy. They're going to sell the brand and everything else in the bankruptcy. But here's the thing that people wanted to buy, but they're not going to get is the email list of customers that had movie pass. So everybody that had an email account with MoviePass, that's not going to go into bankruptcy court. So a lot of people think it's a dead brand. We will see. Supposedly, they think they could get $250,000 for it, for the trademarks, the name, the rights, all of the above. Star Trek Strange New Worlds, a new TV show coming to CBS All Access, where they're gonna, it's going to be the adventures of Pike and Spock. So it's before Captain Kirk. R.I.P. to Fred Willard, the actor. He passed away at 86 years old. Swamp Thing on the CW. If the first season does well, there's possible that they're going to have a second season they'll do. So what they're doing is they're recycling the first season as episodes that were on the DC Universe. And they're going to put it on the CW. And if it gets good ratings, they'll do season two. One of the reasons why they canceled that was they claimed that they didn't want to pay for millions of dollars in storage for the sets in Wilmington, North Carolina, where they filmed it at. So that kind of seems strange. Guys, go rent a cheap warehouse, a big warehouse somewhere, and store the sets there. You can film it there, too. Shazam may be reclaiming the Captain Marvel name, according to Jeff Johns in a cryptic thing. He said it was originally going to be called Captain Thunder. And then they called him Captain Marvel. And then they lost the rights to that name and everything. So maybe there's some kind of deal going on where DC and Marvel are going to they're going to relax and let them use that name. We will see. The Saudi Arabian government's branch of their investment group has invested in Facebook and Disney. So they bought huge amounts of stock in both companies. Mark Hamill wanted Luke Skywalker to go to the dark side, turn bad, turn heel, and re return of the Jedi. This is pretty smart on his part, because at the time, if that was true, he wanted another movie, or another set of movies where they would have to turn Luke good, so he'd have jobs. Pretty smart on his part. They know that when they were going to end it, they wanted everybody to go home happy, so there's no way they could have Luke turn heel. Deadpool 3, canceled or not? Rob Liefeld says Disney has no interest in doing a Deadpool 3, even though Deadpool 1 and 2 made tons of money. So we will see. Tony Isabella is mad at DC Comics because the way that they're portraying Black Lightning in the comic books. So they made up with him when they went to go do the TV series, but now... You know, they're, he's mad at them about something, so maybe the money got cut off. Who knows? Bruce Beresford to direct a Buddy Holly film called Clear Lake. So they're going to do another Buddy Holly movie. Supergirl, and then the book called The Terrifics. They're canceled by DC. They're not even going to print the last couple issues. They're going to go to digital only. Timothy Oliphant is going to be in The Mandalorian Season 2, and they're not telling you who he's going to be. I got a theory on this one. I think he's going to be Dash Rendar. I think that's who they're going to bring him in. He looks the type to do that kind of part. 
and they've been bringing back a lot of characters, and that would make... And he was in something else, Dash Rendar, so he is in canon. He was from Shadows of the Empire, and he was the... When Han Solo was in Frozen and Carbonite, he was the knockoff Han Solo. So I could really see him playing that. That would be a good part, and I'd like to see a spinoff with him doing that character. Adam Warlock and Nova... There's talk that Marvel wants to do an Annihilation movie, and those two characters will pop up in it. So they're going to do a based on the comic books. And Nova, they haven't said if it's Rich Ryder or Sam Alexander, but I hope it's Richard Ryder. He was the first and the best Nova. Purge number five has been pulled from a July release date at the movie theater by Universal Pictures, probably because they want to wait till the coronavirus is over. DC has an imprint called Killing Zone, and a lot of people thought it was dead before it started, but they said that, Jeff Johns said that it's just delayed. So they probably had stuff in the works, and then with everything going on, they just figured we'll push it back. 900 years ago, this is a real story, the moon disappeared. People couldn't see the moon in the sky, and scientists now are blaming that on a volcano that erupted in Japan and it spewed out smoke and, and uh, dust and everything, and it, it blurred the moon for a while. Okay, Rachel Ewling, in your wrestling news, she was released from NXT. She's blaming it on, she was complaining about the medical treatment there because uh, she had reconstructive knee surgery and she wasn't happy with the medical team that run NXT. So we will soon see if that you know anything else comes of that. AEW has a line of sneakers coming out with your favorite AEW wrestler on each pair of shoes. Martha Hart's all in the news because this week will be the dark side of the ring with the death of Owen Hart. So she was talking about how WWE was suing her after he passed away for some kind of um, breach of his contract. I think it was because she wanted to sue in, was it Missouri that he died in? But WWE wanted it to go down in Connecticut, where their lawyers are based. Devon Dudley has officially retired from in-ring action in wrestling, so congratulations on your retirement. And a final piece of news tonight, The Undertaker has signed a 15-year contract with WWE. So basically, he will be 70 years old when this is up. And this was a response to when Vince McMahon was mad at him taking other bookings. He was charging $25,000 an hour for bookings, for shoot interviews, personal appearances, autograph sessions, all that kind of stuff. Everybody have a good night.